Howdy RT aliens and welcome. I am Paul Yateman. I draw stuff. In today's video I am continuing my drawing of an alien original character which I first drew in 1994 and day 3 should be the final day for this design. The sketching took about 20 minutes and an additional 40 or so minutes finished this off in Photoshop. On screen now is my original drawing which you will have seen already if you've been following these videos. Today I am working on a bust of the alien using more manga or anime styled elements such as facial shape as well as eye design and mouth design. The next little inset shows my day one work of this character as part of my hashtag manga challenge where I redrew a couple of my old aliens. On this day I seem to have drawn the characters in my default style, well mostly. The next inset shows yesterday's explorations where I sort of did things ass about as I drew the feature image first and then the heads afterwards. Normally when you're um, developing a character you would do things like heads first and then do the main feature. But there you go. Though my drawing is not too boring I add some armour to the clothing and give him a, it a cape. I make the teeth look similar to the normal female. I drew a few days back but I give the alien pointy ones because he's supposed to have fangs or not fangs a whole bunch of pointy teeth. Overnight I was thinking about reptilian eyes and how I always seem to indicate them just with the pupil slit so that's a uh, really skinny lips and I leave out the iris. I think for the anime style an iris should have been drawn at least if I want this character to be relatable as I was reading in my how to draw manga book that human style pupils tend to anthropomorphize a character and make it more um, sympathetic and when you don't use pupils you make it alien and I've sort of done it in between and for the look I was going for I think irises would have been appropriate. I started out today with the plan to transfer to Photoshop after the line art so I could remove the blue pencil and I chose a thick 0.6 nib for this as I wanted the lines to be fairly bold. Uh, I did a little bit of finer work with my 0.1 uni pin. Using the finer pen I added prominent veins, some shadows, the hexagonal clothing pattern and what are supposed to be brain crenellations to the things on the side of the head. Once my drawing is in Photoshop I adjust the levels, remove the blue and lift the line art off the background. I then use the pen tool to block out large swathes of the area before adding colour. For the smaller areas, I just paint directly onto the canvas. I messed up the layering of colour here at one point, but having saved my paths means it was a simple job to reapply the colour in the correct sequence. As the eyes were a bit too dissimilar, I copied the one on our left, flipped it, rotated it a little and whacked it down as the right eye. I then started to work on the clothing details by colouring in the smaller features. Here is where I noticed I'd stuffed up the skin so I needed to fix that and having done the paths previously that was easy. After colouring the clothes I moved to the sort of exposed brain section and also the veins and then got stuck into shading and highlights and I used a couple of different layers for that and I did that fairly loosely. For the background I dropped in an old environmental scene I'd drawn and I gave it some colour and then I blurred it. For the final colour I scrolled through my layer options and the bold blues talked to me so I chose that. So what do you think? Can you do better or can you do something similar? Show me! Anywho, if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you got ideas for your own sketchbook or were inspired to draw X, etc., subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, you've been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yateman. Ciao, take care, and happy drawing.